Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial we'll learn how to make an animated tree easily in Blender. Let's get started. First, go to the Edit menu, Preferences, and click on the Add-on tab. Search for Sapling Tree Generator and enable the add-on. Press Shift A, Curve, and add Sapling Tree Gen. As you can see, this add-on creates trees. We can access the settings from the panel at the bottom left. You can choose any kind of tree from the preset menu. Let's choose the cholestemon. You can adjust the size of the tree from the scale value. Set the scale value to 7. If we uncheck the bevel option, we can see that the tree is made of a curve. Enable the bevel again. The higher you set the curve resolution, the smoother branches you have. However, since we'll be adding animation to the tree, we need to keep the resolution value as low as possible to render faster. Set the resolution value to 2. Let's switch the settings panel to branch radius. This sub-menu contains the settings for the branch radius. Set the radius scale value to 1.4 to have thicker branches. Let's switch to the branch splitting settings. You can adjust how the branches form and split here. If we increase the level value, we can have more sub-branches. Set the level value to 2. The base splits determine how many main branches split from the trunk. Set the base splits to 1. We can also adjust the trunk height. Set the trunk height to 0.4. Alright. In order to add leaves, switch to the leaves settings. Check the show leaves option. That's it. We can set the number of leaves. Set the leaves amount to 100. Switch the leaf shape from hexagonal to rectangular. Set the leaf scale value to 1, so we can have a square shape. We're going to add image texture in PNG format for leaves. Alright, it's time to animate the tree. Let's switch to the armature settings. Enable the Use Armature option so the armature will be added for the tree. Switch the settings panel to the animation. Check the armature and leaf animation options. Play the animation. There we go. If the settings panel disappears, hit the F9 key to bring it back. If you increase the wind strength value, you will notice that the tree is more affected by the wind. Set the strength value to 1.2. Alright, it's time to add materials. Before going on, ensure that you have made all settings, because you won't access the settings panel anymore. Press Z key and switch to render preview mode. Click the render properties tab and ensure that Cycles is the active render engine. Set the maximum samples values to 32 for viewport and render. Go to the World Properties tab, click on the color node, and choose Environment Texture for lighting. Open the HDRI image. I will share the download link in the video description. Go back to the Render Properties tab, scroll down to the Film section, and enable the Transparent option. So, we can have a transparent background. Split the viewport vertically. Switch the viewport to the shader editor. Hit the N key to close the right panel. Select the leaves and click on the new button to add material. Rename the material as leaves. First, go to the edit menu and ensure that the node wrangler add-on is enabled. Select the principled shader and press Ctrl-T. Open the leaf image in PNG format. 
I will share the download link in the video description. However, we need to make the image transparent background. To do that, plug the alpha node into the alpha node of the principled shader. That's it. Go to the outliner editor and hide the armatures in the viewport. As you know, a leaf is semi-transparent. To do this, go to the shader editor, press shift A and add a translucent shader. Plug the color node into the color node. We need to add this shader to the principled shader. Add a add shader node. That's it. The leaves look more realistic now. Hit the space bar and play the animation. It looks amazing. All right, let's add material for the trunk. Go to the Polyhaven website. Search for Bark Brown 2 Texture. Let's choose only Diffuse Map, Normal Map, and Roughness Map to download. Click the download button. I will share the download link in the video description. After downloading the textures, don't forget to extract the files. Go back to the Blender file, select the trunk, and click the new button to add material. Rename the material as trunk. Select the principled shader and press shift Control t Choose all the texture maps we have just downloaded. Click the principled texture setup button. So all texture maps will be added automatically. Switch the texture coordinates type to the object. Switch the projection method to the box for all maps. Set the blend value to 0 0.5. Set the normal map strength value to 2, so we can see the details better. Let's play the animation. There we go. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.